Hello, it is April 8th, 2010, Thursday, and this is Wheel of Fish. As many of you may have been wondering, uh, I haven't been doing any videos recently. Well, along with uh, class, along with classes and just overall hecticness of my life, I haven't really gotten around to doing a video. But I'm back, and hopefully, I will start doing this video every Thursday for you guys. Another thing that you guys may have been wondering is. Why is there no bookcase behind me now? Well, the thing is, is that when I started doing these videos, yeah, when I started doing these videos, I was at home during, a, I think it was Christmas break. And now I am back at campus, been back at campus for a while now, and this is going to have to do. I'll find a poster for you guys so you don't get to see the background of just a wall and a door. Speaking of being back at college, today I want to talk to you about game design colleges. I've been considering transferring to another college because the college that I'm currently at right now does not have game design as a uh, program here. I've been looking around and I've been looking at a lot of colleges and I found that there's one underlying problem with a lot of game design colleges that I've seen is that they usually try to treat game design as either really artsy or completely computer programming. And I know the big thing about today is uh, video games and I'm pretty sure though I would hate for it to happen uh, I you know game uh, video games may overtake the old school tabletop, you know, Dungeons and Dragons, and, or whatever. But the big thing, I mean, whether it's about game design, whether it's about video game design or just plain straight out tabletop game design, the two sort of seem to be relatively the same. And I think that might be sort of a problem with a lot of the game, game design colleges that are out there right now. Uh, game design is, I understand, as I understand it, is a fairly new concept to be introduced into colleges. It's a, you know, it's only really started showing up in colleges in the last, I don't know, maybe ten years at most. I don't take my word for it. I didn't do research for how long game design colleges have been around, but uh, they seem to miss the point of what game design is. They either treat it as something that is really 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 artsy that is about that's about drawing and storyboarding and stuff like that which is all fine and well but that's only part of what game design is it's also involves a lot of writing it's a it's a uh, how i would how i sort of imagine it considering uh when i made my game resistance was that i feel felt like i was not so much uh, you know, drawing artwork and stuff like that, I felt I was more of writing a story. I felt more like I was a writer rather than a or, uh, rather than an artist with a canvas and pedestal. As for treating game design as something that is like computer programming, uh, I feel that they almost miss the point completely as to what being a game designer is. Yes, with this modern world, we have, uh, we have video, video games are the big thing right now. And I feel whether it's computer program, whether it's a video game or not, it, game design is still relatively the same. It's and different from being a computer programmer. Being a computer programmer is dealing with code and encryption and decryption and all that other codey computer stuff. And game design is more of writing, telling a story, being, you know, creating a world. It's, you know, I so, sort of, how I've imagined it is where the, com, where the computer programmer, where the programmer is the director of the game. The uh, game designer is the writer of the game. 
he tells a story and then he goes to the computer programmer and says hey this is my idea let's put this on a program and turn it into Halo 3 or Call of Duty or Fable or Oblivion or whatever game that you can think of and though it's good to understand again being in this modern world it's good to understand the computer aspects of gaming it shouldn't be the sole thing of it it should not be in what it shouldn't be what you base the entire lesson around thing is about game design is that yes it is a very new concept to be entering colleges right now and it's a very popular concept popular concept is uh, from what i'm getting uh, granted, it has got a long way to go. It is a new, you know, it's a completely new concept for a lot of these colleges. How, and they're trying to figure out how they're supposed to teach it. Well, how do we, you know, it is, how are we supposed to teach game design, you know? And it seems like the most logical choice right now, considering, you know, how the world is right now, is it either treated as sort of an art thing or a computer thing. But I think as time progresses, people are going to start, as once people start to get a better idea of how game design really works, it's going to start being more, maybe, maybe a mix of the two, or maybe bringing more writing into it, more of, you know, how to make a story about it. Nonetheless, I do think it's got a long way to go. And... I'm not saying that all of these colleges seem to be following these two demographics, but that seems to be the main gist about what everybody is going for right now. So that's all I wanted to talk to you about, talk to you guys about today. And I will, I'm going to continue looking for game design colleges because I really do think if I'm going to pursue being a game designer, being at a college that doesn't even have a game design program may not be the best choice. But I will keep you posted, uh, keep you guys posted on that. Well, anyway, also, let me know what you guys think. You know, post down in the comments. Tell me what do you guys think if you're a, you know, want to be game designer or a game designer who's looking for a game design college. What do you think? What do you think how, what do you think of the game design field as it is right now? I will see you next Thursday, and this has been Wheel of Fish.